Greetings. My name is Sadek, but you can call me John Wick. <laughs> Today, I will talk to you about something very important in Tree of Saviors, PvP. First, let's define what PvP is, which stands for player versus player. The definition is as simple as that, but what is not so simple is the content that implements them. In Tree of Saviors, there are four types of PvP instances. Team Battle League, or TBL, KDW, Guild Wars, and Friendly Duel. Each of those instances has similar rules regarding damage calculation, equipment, and gameplay, but they differ in some aspects, so let me explain them. TBL is an arena-style game mode where two random selected teams of three players compete in a best three rounds form. This game mode applies damage and crowd control reduction, as well as set the participant equipment enhancement level to zero, while considering other aspects of the equipment. GTW or Guild Territory Wars is a GPG content that focuses on fighting in an open map to control a central point. This game mode allows up to 15 players per clan per map, with a total of 6 disputable maps to fight among them. It has similar damage reductions to TBL, but lacks crowd control reductions and limit on equipment enhancement. Guild Wars is an declaration of war between clans. War lasts for 7 days and turns all maps into PK zones for the members of the warring clans, allowing them to fight anywhere except cities. The main objective is to destroy the enemy clan's tower. This mod only applies damage restrictions similar to those in friendly duels. Friendly duel, as the name suggests, allows for friendly duels between two players. The most important aspect of facing PvP content is knowing which class we want to use and what its role in PvP. There are five main classes, each with several subclasses that have great potential for PvP and can ful fulfill specific roles in certain content. My favorite class for PvP is the Scout. The Scout can have various approaches to PvP content. It is commonly used as an area DPS with the ability to enter a steel and unleash the basting area attacks that can inflict a status ailment. It can also serve as a support to enhance the damage and stats of party members and as a disruptor to remove enemy buff and apply stats ailment. The main PvP classes for the Scout are Assassin, Outlaw, Linker, Rangda, and Rogue. These classes can be combined with each other or with other classes that have good synergy and fit well with each individual place. The stats we seek for a PvP scout are Constitution, Evasion, Critical Rate, and Strength. These stats form the foundation of a PvP scout build, as they scout well with the characters. Some of these stats can be replaced with accuracy or block penetration if the goal is to eliminate enemy scouts or tanks. Medium-sized attack can also be soaked to improve damage against Archer. Similar to the scout, Archers also have a good increase in evasion. Archers leverage the range and strong area damage to attack from a distance and quickly wear down or eliminate important targets. There are also some Archer job focus on defense. The main PvP classes for Archer are Sapper, Falconer, Mergen, Quarrel Shooter, Musketer and Cannoner. The stats we seek for an Archer are Constitution, Strength, Critical Rate and Medium Size Attack. Unlike a Scout, Evasion is not prioritized for Archers, as they have greater range and don't need to risk themselves as much to deal damage. It is also possible to modify some of these stats such as seeking accuracy to deal with problematic scouts. However, some classes in the Archer branch have perfect aim for a few seconds. If a slightly more defensive build is desired, the medium sized attack can be replaced with medium offsetting. Swarman, the quintessential warrior. This class has two main approaches to PvP. It can be a tank that mitigates damage for their party, taunts enemies, 
and create opportunities for DPS to deal damage. Alternately, it can be an initiator that inflicts massive damage on high priority targets and disrupt the enemy strategy. The main PvP classes for Swordman are Templar, Rodelero, Peltasta, Retiarius, Matador, Luchador, and Cataphract. Due to the distinct difference between types of Swordman for PvP, three main sets of stats can be solved. Constitution, Block, Critical Resistance, and Medium Offsetting. This is for a full tank and utility build. Strange, Constitution, Critical Rate, and Medium Size Attack for an, off for an offensive build. Constitution, Critical Rate, Medium Size Attack, and Medium Offsetting for a hybrid build. Unlike other classes in the game, Swordmen naturally have high HP and resistance growth making them perfect for the front line. However, they are not invincible, charge head-on with a hybrid or offensive build, and encountering an enemy focus on DPS can easily cost you your life. Therefore, it is important to analyze the situation you will be facing before deciding on a build. Wizard In every RPG, wizards have always had a defined role, dealing massive area damage and crowd control. In Tree of Savior is not different, Wizards for PvP are focused on dealing the highest amount of damage in the shortest amount of time to the greatest number of targets. This is important because wizards have long, long cooldowns, and if their initial rotations fail to secure kills, they will face serious problems in, extending fi in extended fights due to their limited survival factor. The main PvP classes for wizards are Omyoji, Chronomancer, Terramancer, Creomancer, Elementalist, Psychokino, Shadowmancer, and Keranus. Similar to what happens with archers, wizards, do they range, can forget certain defensive attributes and focus entirely on offense. Therefore, the stats they seek are as follows. Intelligence, critical rate, medium size attack, and block penetration. This type of build make them perfect to kill almost any target, including tanks focused on defense, as the block penetration significantly limits the damage they can mitigate. The medium size attack combined with critical rate ensures that if they cut an unprepared scout or archer, the damage will be sufficient to kill them instantly. If a slightly more balanced build is desired, medium size attack can be substituted for constitution. Cleric Arguably the most important class for PvP, without which it will be impossible to play GTW efficiently. The cleric is responsible for supporting and keeping their teammates alive. The subclasses of the cleric allow for healing, revival, resistance or attack boost. This class is entirely focused on aiding your teammates, with a few exceptions that focus on massive area damage. The most commonly used classes in PvP for the cleric are Priest, the Abdibris, Oracle, Cabalist, Paladin, Miko, Silot, and Plage Doctor. The objective of a cleric is to survive and keep their teammates alive. Therefore, their focus is entirely defensive and utility oriented. The stats that are sought after are Spirit, Constitution, Median of Setting, Block, or critical resistance. This one stat depends if you are using a shield or a trinket. There is an offensive build for the cleric that focuses on the massive damage of the sealer, but this build is very specific and beyond the scope of this guide. 
as it aims to cover general and basic aspects of PVP. To conclude, there are other important aspects to consider for PVP, such as Vibora Icors and Armor Icors. There are two specific Viboras for PVP. One is Bloody Fight, and the other one is Iron Wall. You can equip this as coordination for PvE, but for PvP. Additional to this, there are two PvP-oriented arc. Suppress for DPS and Disperse for tanks or defensive builds. It's also important to consider that assisters, car sets, Aether gems are a fundamental part of a proper PvP build. Just like in PvE, equipment should be continuously improved over time with investment of resources. Well, I hope this guide has been helpful. PvP content in this game is as extensive and complex as PvE content, and it should be approached with the same seriousness if one wishes to excel in it. Farewell and I hope this is the first of many guides for this game. And remember to follow me on Twitch um, as Mr. Sadek on Twitch. Thank you very much and see ya. Bye bye.